day everybody and welcome back to another episode of Life is Strange Before the Storm where we are continuing on in Chloe's journey with Rachel and everything that happened. Hello Junk Shack. Time to check out Rachel Amber's mystery bag. Uh, I heard you got expelled. Yeah, I rolled a one against Wells. Get it? Sev says you're a nerd. Okay, Rachel. Grabbing something from home, then I'll meet you at the junkyard. See you really soon. Bad. A bag full of clothes. Yes, I need those. <laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. I think the turret tower is actually kind of what we want. It kind of doubles up as a lighthouse because you know. <laughs> Uh, I like it. Okay. Wait. Uh, I forgot Frank was coming. kind of cool. An elephant. Okay, let's go see. What do you want, Frank? That's the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. Weird. Yo, Frank! It's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password... drugs? Christ, get your ass in here. Dude, it smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that woman? Ah! God, jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. Now I'm fetching things for Frank. Thank you. Dude, I heard you ex got expelled bad news. You mean good news? I'm stoked. Word. I'm here too. I finally got busted yesterday for smelling like weed. My mom's making me go to a book group. Oh man! How low can I go? <sighs> Sorry, Frank. I didn't know it was your RV when I wrote that. Fight the power. 
Ugh, gross. Ew. Wait, Frank got a puppy? For real? Ah, oh, man. Rachel the therapist would have a field day with this. Shit. The mill burned down. Oh! Oh, the dogs didn't make it! Jeez. That's an expensive dog. Frank must be spending hundreds of dollars on this dog. Frank must be spending hundreds of dollars on this dog. Frank really need to rip Got it. Is this what I think it is? Ah, oh, shit. I'm in the red. Why do we owe it money? Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadour, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. Does it mean, like, tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? Okay, so who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV? Oh, yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. Dude, I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. No shit, Frank. You think I don't know about hiding things from other people? I'm a teenager. Come on, Price. I gotta protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. Hey, so... Uh, I had this dream the other night about a cloud that swallowed Arcadia Bay. You too? See? We're a lot alike, Frank. We've got shit in common. Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? Come on, Frank. This is Arcadia Bay. Gossip is all we have to keep us from hanging ourselves out of boredom. I don't know. Frank. Talk. And I'll get my mom to make you something special. Like what? Uh... How about that firehouse chili of hers? You... You got it. The woman you saw. Her name's Sarah. 
showed up a few weeks ago, causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. Like who? It's a little out of your league, okay? But what kind of trouble, exactly? Forget about it, Chloe. Shouldn't have opened my mouth. Thanks for telling me. Whatever. You hear the mill burn down? Yeah. I, uh, heard some stuff about it. Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. <coughs> How about you? Did you lose anything in the fire? No. But I'll probably get pulled into whatever shit Damon's dealing with right now. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. Is this about the buck 75? What? The money that I owe you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't give a shit about that. Wait, do you have it? Don't you have richer clients to bother? I should fucking hope so. Well, good. Because I need everything I've got. You're a pain in the ass. I've got bigger problems right now. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? Y yeah, he's... Holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with them? Uh, he's an unreliable douchebag. Nah, this is the first time he's done this. Kid's actually smart. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Yeah, of course, but what's in it for me? Idiot, you still owe me. So, if I do this, then we're good? That, and I'll do even better. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got expelled this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. I have a feeling that's not going to end well for us. be back this soon. Well, here goes nothing. <coughs> They've got the tents, full dressing rooms, what are you up to? I'm here to actually running an errand for my that's so bad. Come see me when you're done. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I saw that woman that you died was coming out of Frank's RV. What? 
apparently she's causing some trouble and a lot of people or something. Her name's Sarah Rachel. I think maybe I prefer not knowing her name. Oh, my bad. That's fine. <coughs> See you soon. Better hurry up. I see a stick. Oh. Just Ugh. Hey Steph. Whoa. Hey Calamastia. Surprised to see me on parole? I told you Wells was out to get you. That text was a rare courtesy, by the way. I don't normally get involved in other people's dumb decisions. Tricks on you, because I am the ultimate lost cause. Skipping with Rachel Amber does have an appeal. Well, yeah. So what are you doing here? Uh, I figured I'd see the Tempest. For real? You? Yeah, I know. It's not really my thing. Uh, <laughs> kinda hoping it's a shit show. What the hell? I'm the stage manager. Oh, oh I think I knew that. My bad. You better mean it. Honestly, the show's really good. It's worth seeing. I'm sure it is. Obviously, Rachel's fantastic, but everyone else is pretty impressive, too. You get to see a totally different side of everyone, especially the guys. Okay, now you just unconvinced me. Why am I not surprised? Yeah, well, good luck with all of that. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you later. Oh, hey. I wanted to ask you something. Shoot. I've been planning to make a move on Rachel, but not if you two were together. Make a move? So, are you? Uh... I mean, that's Rachel's business. Or maybe yours and Rachel's business. But if you feel comfortable telling me... I'm... Uh, I, I don't know. It's... It's... Confusing. <laughs> yeah, I, I can imagine. You ever want to talk to me, Chloe? You know you can, right? I'll see you later, Steph. Have fun storming the castle. Okay, let's do this. Locked. Figures. Looks like my options are become a master lock picker or swipe someone's keys. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be at home, thinking over your endless list of questionable decisions? Dude, why do you care about my questionable decisions? It offends me when intelligence is wasted. <laughs> Did Evan just call me intelligent? Damn straight. Wow. Evan looks... really ridiculous. Chloe? Uh-huh. I've learned something about myself recently. Something that I think you might understand. I've learned that if I'm passionate about something, it's probably the right thing to care about. For example, I've been trying to get the students and administration interested in forest fire prevention. That is kind of an odd topic to focus on. People are so eager to pass on responsibility to anyone else so that they can live comfortable, unworried, and ultimately meaningless lives. 
You see what happened? <laughs> Looks like you were right. Go, Evan. You're a hero of the people. I know you feel like I do. A about different things, I'm sure. But you only give a shit about what you give a shit about. I like that. A anyway, you're not supposed to be here. You should leave. I need your key, man. I've used the sprinkler before, so let's see if it works in our favor again. Ooh. Bingo. If only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage here might get his attention. But Evan is right there. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Domino. Scare the bird? Hey! Shit! I wanted you to go the other way. Like, as far as possible, the other way. Time for a fresh start. Here we go. of the sprinkler. Awesome. Now I just have to wait for Samuel to turn on the... <laughs> that works. Sorry, Samuel. All right, time to find Drew's room. Why they locked the no door time like the anyway. present? Skip, how's it going? Not that it isn't great to see you and all, but what are you doing here? Didn't you just get expelled? Relax. I'm just uh, visiting a friend. I, I can't... I, I really can't just let you go in. Come on, Skip. I break the rules, and you think it's awesome. Let me break this rule. For old time's sake. I want to, Chloe. But I really can't. I'm going inside, dude. You're just gonna have to let this slide. I don't think I can. In fact, I think I have to ask you to state your official business, or else vacate Blackwell property. I hate to do this to Skip, 
but I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass. What's my official business? Women's business, Skip. As in, my uterus? I need to use the restroom. Glad you asked. What? No. No, it's my job to ask, Chloe. Your job is creepy, then. Which makes you kind of <laughs> a creeper. Oh, it's not like that. Do you know what Wells would do to me if I didn't, you know, patrol? Is Wells pressuring you to write more students up? I'm not even a student, but sure. Don't let that stop you. I thought we were friends. Where is this coming from? I, I thought we were friends, too. But when the man comes down on you, you come down on me. Is that it? Look, look, look. I am really sorry, Chloe. I'm just so confused right now. Just look the other way, Skip. It's not like I'm up to anything criminal. I just need to use the bathroom. I, I don't know what to do. Seriously, m my uterus is on fire, dude. Wh what? Is that uh, descriptive enough? I don't want to know about En fuego utero, Skip. En fuego utero. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Huh. I'm here? I've gotten reports of an unknown vehicle in the parking lot. Oh, thank God. Oh, I'm on it. I won't tell Wells. Do what you have to do, okay? I won't tell anyone. Oh. Ah, uh, sorry. What? Uh, um, have you found it? Chill out. It's only been five minutes. It's been 20. Whew. Yeah, yeah. Alrighty guys, that is it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye.